Good evening and welcome to the induction ceremony for Sigma Beta Delta. My name is Mark Meacham and on behalf of Chestnut Hill College, the School of Graduate Studies, the Center for Business, and the School for Continuing and Professional Studies, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the inductions this evening. Events like these are the ones that those of us in academia truly appreciate and look forward to. It's a chance to stop and recognize the success of our students who have taken seriously this gift of education. Indira Gandhi, the former Prime Minister of India, said that her grandfather once told her that there were two kinds of people in the world, those who do the work and those who take the credit. And he told her she should try to be in the first group because there was much less competition there. Today, we want to honor those of you in the first group who have done the hard work. And that's what an event like all of this is about. Because no matter how well our faculty have taught you and led by example, no matter how much support you received from your family and friends, it is you who achieved. It is you who did the work. And so it is you tonight who we celebrate. With that, we will now move on to the most important part of our ceremony, the induction into Sigma Beta Delta. I would like all to ask all of our inductees to rise. And I would like to ask you to please come forward. Do you desire to be admitted into Sigma Beta Delta? If so, say I do. Based on your academic achievements in business management and administration, you have been invited to membership in Sigma Beta Delta. We are honored to have you join the society that encourage, encourages and recognizes scholarship and accomplishment among students of business management and administration and encourages and promotes aspirations towards personal and professional improvement and a life distinguished by honorable service to mankind. The principles of Sigma Beta Delta are represented by three Greek words, the initials of which form the name of our society, Sigma Beta Delta. Sigma is the initial letter of the Greek word Sophia which means wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge gained over time and analyzed and used with discernment. Wisdom is not merely information, but allows one to acknowledge information, consider its validity and relevance, and then incorporate into one's life and what is appropriate. The wise person realizes the importance of continual learning and accepts the challenge to do so and to gain a more complete understanding of new knowledge. Wisdom is, no, is knowledge applied. The wise person seeks to apply knowledge to benefit humankind. As a member of Sigma Beta Delta, I challenge you to pursue wisdom throughout your life. Beta is the initial letter of the Greek word bebios, which signifies honor. Honor is a personal quality of the highest value. Honorable persons are held in esteem, considered to be trustworthy, and admired by others because they live a life that is worthy of such recognition. Honorable persons have chosen to live a life that is bounded by integrity and ethical decision-making so that they may be free of tyranny of dishonor. Honorable persons strive to do that which is right even in the face of opposition. Honorable persons respect others and are willing to provide leadership to the benefit of humankind. As a member of Sigma Beta Delta, I challenge you to accept honor as a constant companion throughout your life. And now, please finally listen to the explanation of Delta. Delta is the initial letter of the Greek word, dioko, which signifies the pursuit of meaningful aspirations. To aspire worthy goals sets apart persons of accomplishment from those who merely mark time with their lives. Persons of wisdoms and honors must aspire to a course to achieve their objectives, 
For goals without action are no more fulfilling than action without goals. To aspire towards fulfillment of one's goals, to serve humankind, and develop personally and professionally will lead to a life of meaning and satisfaction. As a member of Sigma Beta Delta, I challenge you to aspire to goals that will chart you on the path of wisdom and honor throughout your life. You have now heard the principles which members of Sigma Beta Delta support and strive to uphold. Wisdom, honor, and aspiration. Do you accept these principles as your own? If so, say I do. Please repeat after me a statement in which you formally accept the principles of Sigma Beta Delta. Okay, please repeat after me. I pledge myself to maintain and uphold the principles of Sigma Beta Delta. International Honor Society in Business Management and Administration. I will pursue wisdom. I will accept honor. I will aspire to fulfill worthy goals. As a member of this chapter of Sigma Beta Delta, I will accept my responsibility to support and encourage its purposes. I will continually seek to represent well my chapter and my nation throughout my life. In recognition of your academic achievement and of your pledge to the principles of Sigma Beta Delta, we will now present you the insignia of the society. This insignia provides a tangible symbol of the principles of wisdom, honor, and aspiration, which you have accepted. I will now call each name uh, and we'll give certificates to our honorees. Bernadette Elizabeth Bebe, Accounting and Criminal Justice. One's going to be a little tough for me. Jao Marques Peria de Sosa, Accounting and Business Administration and Management. <laughs> April Marie Oyola, <laughs> Accounting. Alexander Gavin, Healthcare Management. <laughs> Lauren Griffin, Healthcare Management. Angela Pascarello, Business Communication. Aaron Rooney, Business Communication. Now for the presentation of the Center for Business Honorary Awards. We first present the Sigma Beta Delta Award of Excellence. Sigma Beta Delta is the premier international honor society in business management and administration. The organization recognizes students for their achievements in the classroom and promotes a lifelong dedication to self-improvement and service. This award is the highest individual honor a Sigma Beta Delta member can earn. 
Recipients are chosen because of their high academic performance in addition to their leadership on their college campuses and in their communities. Students chosen are role models who inspire others to work collaboratively and creatively, value and honor diverse experiences and perspectives, as well as demonstrate initiative, excellence, dedication, and commitment. They were nominated by the faculty, both full-time and adjunct, and included recommendations from college administration. The awards this year go to Lindsay O'Hara Lane and Zhao Marquez Pereira de Sousa. The next award is the ACBSP Student Leadership Award. Founded in 1988, the Accreditation uh, Council for Business Schools and Programs, ACBSP, is a global business education accrediting body. ACBSP ignites a standard of excellence within its accreditation process. ACBSP's global mission is to pursue a better tomorrow by advancing and recognizing excellence in business and education throughout continuous improvement. And its vision is to see every business program of quality accredited and pursuing continuous improvement. The Chestnut Hill College Center for Business is currently in candidacy for ACBSP accreditation. This recognition is for a senior undergraduate business student who has demonstrated outstanding academic and service accomplishments during their time at Chestnut Hill College. The award criteria includes completion of a bachelor's degree in the current academic year, a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.5. It's given to the student who excels in professional, volunteer, research, and leadership activities in the Center for Business, has achieved academic success and demonstrated leadership in student organizations and civic activities. Nominations are from the faculty, both full-time and adjunct, and include recommendations from the college administration. This year, we proudly award this ACBSP Student Leadership Award to Nigel Anthony Houghton and Tiffany Elizabeth Palacios. It's our pleasure this evening to present the Joseph A. Bucci Scholarship, Service, and Citizenship Award to be presented 
by Lauren Bucci Clugston, who's joined this evening uh, by her uh, lovely family. And so delighted to have Lauren and her family joining us, joining us this evening. This award is dedicated to our dear friend, professor, and colleague, Joe Bucci. Joe is the chair of the Center for Business, as well as the inaugural, inaugural director of the Master in Organizational Leadership Program, um, which uh, Dr. Catherine Gilstein now serves as the director for. He was a much loved and admired professor of business and revered and respected by his colleagues. His influence of love remains here as part of the fabric of our community. This award recognizes excellence in scholarship and service by an undergraduate student who embodies the ideals expressed in both Chestnut Hill Colleges and the Center for Business's core values. Awarded to a business student who demonstrates outstanding leadership, scholastic performance, and integrity. The recognized student with a minimum GPA of 3.50 is exceptional for their demonstrated abilities to think strategically, act practically, communicate effectively, and demonstrate leadership as an example to others. The recognized student is exceptional for their demonstrated abilities to create value for others, embrace a professional identity, and steward the profession of business as an example for others. The student is nominated by the faculty, full-time and adjunct, and including recommendations from the college administration. This year, the Joseph A. Bucci Scholarship, Service, and Citizenship Award is awarded to Alexander Michael Gavin from the School of Continuing and Professional Studies and Madeline Ray Jimenez from the School of Graduate Studies and Connor Reagan from the School of Undergraduate Studies. Congratulations to all. What a great evening of wonderful Griffin memories. I would encourage you to share your accomplishments and your achievements and your milestones on your resume, your LinkedIn account, and your, with your current or potential new employer. And as you search for employment, remember the importance of fostering personal connections, reaching out to CHC alumni, and reconnecting with the career development. And as you continue your journey and leave Chestnut Hill to embark on the next stage of your life, I encourage you to think about and embrace the importance of leadership, service, and character. And always remember to keep in touch with us. We really get excited to hear how well you're doing, and it really makes us feel good. Everybody, a round of applause.